Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Bowler with... This is actually a couple of trips over to the Baseball Card Castle in Cranberry Township. So I'm going to show you what I picked up, and I got some nice items for my PC. I got some stuff for TTM uh, purposes here, and I got a nice, cool little display item. It, base, autographed baseballs, autographed photo cards, just good stuff here to show you. And... um. You know, he has a nice store there. He's got so much stuff. Like, everyone has a local card shop where, you know, they have certain good things about them. There are so many good things about this place. His quantity of individual cards, of autographed items, of memorabilia, of cards in general. Uh, he has current product, the, the hobby stuff. I mean, uh, such a good place. Um, right up front here, I have the 1989, 1990, yeah, A9, A9, 88, A9, 90, 91, full year, your update sets here. And this is pretty much for TTM purposes here. And I bought this one day for $10, and I got these for $20. But actually, it gave me a little bit of a deal on that. I ended up paying $35 total for all four of these. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I know there are some nicer cards. I mean, there's a John Smoltz rookie in here and stuff. But, you know, this is for TTM purposes. So this is going to get put aside with my... Uh, like close to 300,000 cards. I need to start throwing stuff away of if they're not for TTM. Anyway, yes, this is going to go to the pile. <laughs> nice. So there we go. Next up, this was a neat little item here. It's actually really heavy. It's like an old school glove. It's kind of got that beat up look to it. It's As a person who really likes baseball, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, there's no one really to get this signed by. I mean, I guess you could joke and be like, well, Bill Mazeroski was an old player. You know, it's an old beat-up glove. Or Bobby Shantz, maybe. would. Uh, this is too heavy to ship out. This is just a really cool display piece. Maybe they'll get signed at some point. Maybe not. But that that is just an awesome, awesome item. So, uh, yeah, this company that made this, yeah, 2003 Chicago. Whew, can't really read that game. Oh, All-Star Game. So apparently this must have something to do with that. But anyway, in any case, really, really cool item right there. All right, we've got some small little autographed items. we got an autograph ticket from an autograph appearance. Bobby Del Greco. Yeah, look at that. Back in 1996, it was 5 bucks to get an autograph from somebody. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But Bobby Del Greco, he was with the Pirates there. This was $5. So, apparently, you know, it's got the hole punch in it. So, someone must have gotten something signed by him. And my favorite number, by the way. And it's like, yeah, well, he played for the Pirates back in the 50s. And he played for other teams in the 50s and 60s as well. So, that was just a really cool little item. Because I, the only thing I have signed by him are the team-issued photo cards. So, to add something to it, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. So, we got that for 5 bucks, And each of these were $10 a piece, which... Yeah, and all now I think about, um, Del Greco, I believe, was a Pittsburgh guy. He grew up in Pittsburgh or was from Pittsburgh or something like that, too, now I think about. But, uh, yeah, so him being a local guy is also pretty cool, too. So, next up, we have Ray Miller, who is the pitching coach for the Pirates. So, um, that was actually really stinking cool. It's not a team-issued photo card. It's, you know, it's something. <laughs> But I've never seen this type of photo card before, so that's cool. So that's a good $10 bill right there. This was way too cheap at $10. Even has like a nice little soft sleeve for it. <laughs> got Jim Leland. Obviously, people know who Jim Leland is. That's really cool. <clears throat> Had mad respect for me for uh, chewing out Barry Bonds when he needed it. Could you imagine a manager doing that nowadays with a star player? You know, you can't. Um, but that's a nice item for ten dollars. When I got that, I saw it and I grabbed it right away. And uh, Jeff, who's a wonderful owner, wonderful guy, him and Christine, his father, they're good people. Um, Say so he just had that out for a few days. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm glad I saw it because <laughs> uh, I'd really like to have that with my team issued photo cards there and that fits into that mold there three autographed baseballs to show you this next one <clears throat> does not have like jsa or psa authentication on it but this did come from the mainline show so obviously someone must have used this name i mean maybe it came from the same person i don't know 
But in any case, it's Matty Alou. $15 for something when they get an autograph from. That's pretty stinking cool here. But Matty Alou was really good. I mean, uh, yeah, he, he had a bunch of good accolades. Maybe Maybe if there was only a way he could show it. On the baseball. Oh, he did. He did. He had 1966 batting champ NL. That, that sold me on this item. This, this is a really cool item to have. So I was glad to add to my collection. And he did play for the Pirates in 66. He played for the Pirates for just a little bit. Not during the World Series years. He was between the 1960 and 1971 World Series teams. But it's on in a Bud Selig ball. Blue ink with the inscription. He signed his name real small, but that's a good item for the collection. Thank you for that purchase. All right, this next one's not a pirate, and that's okay. Not everyone has to play for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, this person's kind of been on my radar, someone to get. He is a Hall of Famer, and I know Mets Rule will appreciate this one. Yeah, it's Gary Carter. So, yeah, this was a good item to get. I paid $70 for it. Bud Selig Ball, JSA Authenticated. Yeah. that That's a really good deal right there. To pick that up for $70. I mean, he was on a lot of All-Star games. He's a Hall of Famer. Silver Sluggers. Gold Gloves. I mean, yeah. He passed away way too young, but... I'm glad to have a Hall of Famer in my collection, and I got it for a pretty reasonable price. So, I'll take it for being authenticated. Yeah, that's a good deal. All right, this last one. Let me flip it around here. I paid $60 for this one. It is JSI authenticated on the National League ball there. Um, I have one clean ball of this kind, but it's it's not really all that clean, so... Long story short, like, I like these baseballs. They really weren't didn't exist for too long, those kinds. But um, let me just go ahead and say this guy... Well, actually, he was credited with the EFIS pitch, apparently. You know, inventing it, apparently. But he played for the Pirates back in the late 30s and in the 40s. He was an all-star multiple times. He led the league, National League in wins. And I finally got Rip Sewell in my collection. That's a cool one. It's a pretty sweet autograph too. Oh man, he was a you know he was a pretty good picture back in the day. And if he didn't play for the Pirates, I'm pretty sure I never would have heard of this guy. So yeah, he passed away back in uh, 1989, I think. And like, oh, what a great addition to my Pirates collection, my autographed baseball collection. You know, I say I have over 500 autographed baseballs, but it might be closer to 600 than 500. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, I made some... I went to the Baseball Card Castle a couple of times, made some purchases, and I believe I bought this one and the Gary Carter the same day. So I just had to show you these items. They're going to go well in my collection. So there we go. We got Mr. Rip Sewell. So, uh... Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I upload three videos a week. I do a TTM video on Mondays, and then I do autograph or trading card videos such as this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So take care, everybody.